Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Crasher again. We're going to proceed on. I'm still a little bit under the weather trying to get my knee back to where it should be. And uh, I uh, hope uh, the delays aren't screwing some people up. Uh, I really want to get this rent done and then uh, maybe start on another project down the road here. Uh, but I uh, want to try to give you all the details of what needs to be done to finish the rent in a whole bit. But we still have some painting to do on it. And uh, uh, one other thing, as I mentioned in the last video, and I'd appreciate it if anybody could uh, get the word out on my video channel uh, so that uh, I'm looking to build my prescription, uh, prescriptions, yeah, subscriptions up and uh, getting thumbs up in the whole bit, you know, because it all helps uh, me and uh, my count. And uh, I would appreciate it if anybody uh, would would do that and pass the word to your friends or anybody that may be interested in, in doing uh, the bird carving. Uh, also, uh, I do have uh, some products that maybe people can use. Uh, I, I do have a small catalog that I could get out to you if you need that as well. And uh, if you need kits or just a blank or a pattern or feet or eyes, I do have that as well. So uh, if you ever need anything, just contact me. My email address is uh, in the comments section of uh, my video. So, uh, uh, or I should say the, the write-up in the video. So uh, please contact me and uh, we'll see if we can't take care of you. Um, for those that uh, have ordered some stuff, uh, I still haven't gotten everything out because I haven't gotten really to the post office. I did get out a little bit uh, and uh, I will get that in the mail probably uh, the early part of next week and things should be moving again. So just want to let you know that. But we will proceed on with the painting of the Wren, and uh, I think we're going to get this thing wrapped up on this session, okay? So see you in a minute. I'm going to move the camera down like I normally do, and then we'll proceed on. So give me a second. Okay. Finally getting back to doing some painting here. I apologize for taking so long. Uh, but like I said in the beginning part of the video here that I had a knee replacement. So I'm going to get a little bit of white, titanium white, just a little bit, maybe about a BB size. I'm going to keep this a little bit on the concentrated side, so I'm not going to add, uh, a lot of water. I'm only going to give maybe five or six drops. That's it. Then I'm going to stir this up pretty good. And really stir it well. Yeah, I I'm, I'm really want to get back to apologize to everybody. Usually I try to publish every three days, but uh, with I had a knee replacement and that is uh, just taking uh, some therapy and everything else. So I'm getting back to where I was, but not producing as much. So I will start getting back to regular schedule so we can finish this. And while I mix in this paint, I just wanted to put it out to the audience out there that's watching my videos, uh, if you have any suggestions on what to do next, what bird or what, what you would like to see done, uh, you know, give me some ideas, put it in the comment section. Uh, love to hear from you and uh, see if we can't uh, maybe accommodate somebody. Uh, I have some ideas what I want to do. But I figure I'll give you guys some choices and see what you think. 
and we could go from there too, you know? So uh, here's what I wanna try to do. Uh, I'm coming into the rump area here and where I may have ran the paint uh, a little onto the rump, I uh, do some touch-ups the same way with the front. Looks like I did okay there, but I did get a little, little bit of spillage there. So uh, what I did is I just came in, picked up a little paint, hit that area and get it white because we're, we're gonna have a, a, our underneath of our tail, the rump area here is white, but we're going to uh, put other colors in there as usual. So I'm rinsing my brush out. I'm going to get my uh, hair dryer, and I just want to dry this one area because I'm going to I'm going to show you some other things to paint white here. So I just want to dry this real quick. Not that much paint floating around, but I, what, we're going to highlight some more of the white, and I'll show you what I'm talking about this second here. I think that will do it. Now, I'm gonna get my smaller brush. This is a number three, but it goes right into a point really well. Let me do something else too. As I say to you, a lot of times I wear magnifiers, which is what I'm going to do now just so I can see where I'm going in all cases but here's the area see where we have the black and we have the white black white so on I'm going to come in with the smaller brush like I said this is a number three that really holds its point and it's ideal if, even if you had a smaller brush but it it, it holds its uh uh, has a nice pointy end. You can get into areas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in on the white areas and highlight them just like this. And what this will do is make it pop a little bit more and where I may, the black may have run a little bit or something like that. I get some of the paint, I charge my brush up and then I take most of the paint off from the edge. I don't go to the, to, cause it shouldn't be that runny. It should always be like a control paint so that you don't have it running all over the place. And you can see it, it highlights these and brings them up more and they're more showy. And we got a little one in here and here. Hope you can see this well. And then here. Yeah. See, and it just picks it up just enough to, these are markings that stand out on the rim. Now, we've got that sign. What I'm going to do is flip it to the other side, and I'm keeping my fingers off of that. That's something you want to definitely concentrate on. <laughs> Because I know in the beginning when I started doing this, inevitably I would put my fingers right where I should. So I'm going to put this in here. This here. And if you have too much black, you can reduce it now, you know, by adding the white. So the last three rows get the highlights. 
and it's not like white, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's not a wash, but it's a little more of a concentrate. And it just highlights the white, but not like in the, I would say the, that streak that goes through the eye. You're not as bright as that. And what I'm doing is going back in between all the black dashes. And just highlight them. Like so. Okay. So you have that side done. And that side done. And if you really needed to ever touch this up, you could come in and add a little more white in there if you needed it. But mine's pretty bright, so you can see how bright that is compared to this. So it, it's uh, they're bright enough. I gave it a two or three coats to get that white white. So now what we're going to do is there's highlights on these feathers right in here. You have one, two, three, four. And we're going to highlight the back end. So I'm going to charge my brush up, take most of the paint out because I don't want a lot. And the first one right up top here. And again, try to steady yourself if you can so that when you have more control, you just wipe that around the edge. Okay, there's one. There's two. I'm going to come back and touch this first one a little bit. I got a little... Uh, you're just doing the edge. It's just highlighting the edges. And you got one, two, three, four. They're pretty showy. Okay, like so. Hope you can see that. And I'm going to look at my original. Yeah, I did a couple of them coming down too. Then you got one, two, three, four, and then you got this group coming down. So you just go on to give a little bit of white on the edges. I hope you can see this well. It goes right there, right there. It's just on the edges, okay? I'll come back and hit it one more time just to get it a little more showy. This one here came up light too, so if it came up too light, you can always just hit it a second time and do it right on the end. Because the first one may ghost away, and then the second time you hit it, it intensifies a little bit more. Now, let's see what else we got to do here. Then we have a grouping that's coming down right here. We have like one, two, three, four. And I'm going to do those ends. So, uh, just checking my original here. Now, here we go. Woo! Wrong end. <laughs> so, I'm going to get this. And I've um, got the end of the feather from the bar, black bar, to the end of the feather. I'm painting in just that. And then there's another one right here. Another one right there. And this is, you have the black bars, 
but you're the first one at the end. Everything else to the end of the feather is, is white. Now, I got a little bit of white where I don't want it, so I'm going to rinse my brush off real quick. Come back in and just touch that area, and it picks up the white real fast. Just like that, okay? Now, I'm probably going to come back and hit that a second time, uh, but we'll, we'll keep on marching here. And let me check what else we need to do on this side. Let's see. Yeah. We have three feathers on the bottom. We want to do the, the back end of those. And we get a couple in here to these wing coverts, I call them. So, here we go. I have, let's see. I'm trying to see my feathers. Ah, here they are. There's the little one that starts you off. Um, I'm hitting that one right there. And, of course, I go into the next feather. So, I'm getting all my water out of my brush so I can just pick that up and clean that up real fast. And then the second feather is right here. So I'll charge my brush up again. Take most of the paint off. Come back up here. And I have of this right there come back and highlight that first one again and then I'll do the last one so there's three of them right there now on these wing coverts these little ones you can come on the back end like this and just Come around like a little curly cue. All these. The front end is darker, the back end is lighter. It's like a little C that pops up in there. Then there's one that goes here. Then you got one more that's here. I'm going to put one right in there. So you got a grouping right in there. And then it looks like one more right here. It's all those little ones that are in a pocket there. Now, we got that done. Like I said, you don't want to put your finger on that. But we're going to come back to this side again. Charge my brush up. Take most of it off. Then I'm going to come in on the first one. On this side up top. And then I'm going to do the second one. There you go. There's the third feather. And the fourth feather. And then the grouping coming down. And one more. Okay, so we got that grouping. Then we have this grouping right here. There's one, two, three, four. And five, so I'll charge my brush up again. Now, we had barring on that one. So you're doing everything on the tail end from the dark bar to the end of the feather. So you're painting the whole thing. It's a little wider. Definitely wider. Then you can do the next feather down. Then the next feather down.
looks further down, and one more. There. Yeah. Now you got these three little guys in here. You got one that lays right in here. Then you got a second. It's right in here. And then there's a third feather that lays right in there. And you're just doing it down. Now, there's that little grouping right in here. So you have the dark marks right here. So you're doing the back end. One. Just a little grouping in there. So we come in like this. Like so, there. I think we can sneak one in right there. We'll do another one back here. Uh, make one more in there like that. Now I'm gonna go back and charge my brush up just a little bit more and hit these again. These things look like they faded fast. So I'll hit that, 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 and just touch them up. Okay. Now let me go back to this side without putting my fingers on the other side. <laughs> okay. Into the paint. I'm going to come back and I'm going to highlight these just on the very tip. And the white isn't one of these stark whites like up in the in the brow here. So this will ghost its way in. We'll put one more right here. There you go. So just I'm gonna do this again, okay? Because it should have been a little bit stronger or white. And I'm going to come back in here. And I'm just going to do the tip. Just the end here. Just to make the tip a little whiter. And the rest of it looks like it's grayer as it moves away. So that's good that it faded as much as it did. And I'm just going to do the the very end so it looks like it's going from white to a gray and it gives you a nice looking look now these guys here should be brighter so i'm going to come in and touch these up and if you had your mix too watery you you may have to do this too you know and uh, just to enhance what we were trying to project. Okay. And if these came out too late too, I think we could come in a little bit brighter. That's why you want to watch how much water you're using. Water will uh, make uh, the white subdued it actually i call it ghosting uh and uh sometimes you have to come back and do a second touch up and uh Just to get a commercial in here, uh, as I was saying in the front end of uh, the video here, uh, I'm trying to build my subscriptions. So if you like what you see and you uh, have friends that may be interested in uh, the birds as far as... Uh, 
you know, doing birds and what have you, uh, if you could pass uh, my name on to get them to s subscribe, I'd appreciate that. That really helps greatly on uh, my end here as far as my count. So I appreciate that a lot if you could uh, help me out on that. I see I did miss a couple of spots here. I want to get this white before we go on our next stage. Okay, I'm going to rinse the brush out. Remember, don't leave your brushes laying. Get the paint out of there. And if you just roll it, your brush will come clean just with a little bit of water. So, now I'm going to let that sit for a second. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, get some 